everyone. This is Melissa Armble with Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the QQQs. So the Qs made another brand new all-time high today. Spy did it yesterday. Qs followed through today. Market's higher. I've been saying it all along. Uh, another really, really good eye here I had on this to call the market would continue up. Not only that, we power trended all day here today. Higher, 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 higher. Um, again, people keep thinking we're going to pull back. We're not doing it. And the market continues to race forward. So for people that are not going long because they're scared and afraid and think the move is done up, the bullish move, then they're missing out and making money. And if people are shorting this market, they're getting creamed. So if you translate this bar here into this could be the pullback, that could be it. It could be three days or four days of trading. It just happened to happen in one day. Again, I train stocks based on gaps. Whether I go long or short, it's based on reading the gap, and that's what I'm playing. I'm not playing pullbacks, and I'm not playing corrections, and none of that even makes any sense. And most traders actually trade like that, and it's no surprise then when most traders lose. But if you trade with me, and if you did my golden gap class, then you know the right way to read gap. And the market gapped up today, made a brand new all-time high, and continued. So where do we go from here? We'll have to see where we gap Monday morning. But all skies look clear ahead. 143.49 was the high. Next number is 145 for the Qs. Do we just go right there? I don't know. Again, I have to see where we're gapping Monday morning in the pre-market. I will read the gap and then predict where we will go on that live day. But the market's bullish. I see no reason that we're not going to continue to stay in the bullish uptrend for the rest of 2017. And uh, although things don't go straight up in a line up or down, you have to read the gaps to know where we're going. To expect a pullback or short this market or think something's going to come in isn't the right thing to do, and it's not the right way to trade. And that is how a lot of people lose money. So it may seem impossible the markets keep going higher, ex ex except it's not. And it's being bought. It's being bought with institutional money. And the way you make money in the market is being with institutions. You go with the stuff that is moving with momentum and volume and volatility, and you rate the gap and you trade the gap and you play it. So really nice, just really nice call here. I've made to keep following this market higher and it's, it's working. And I've been calling so many, so many bullish option calls and they're all working too. They're screaming up to the numbers to crazy, crazy numbers and they're all working. And my shorts for the downside are working too. So, you know, it's one of these things where you just got to pick the right stock and the right thing to be in, in this type of market. Very tricky to trade, but I've done a great job with it. So if you're interested in learning my method, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Market's very strong. Better be careful what you trade, people. Whatever you do, don't short this market. Good luck.